we will evaluate the given inverse trig expressions using the reference triangles shown below. The first expression is inverse cosine of sine 4 thirds pi radians. We begin by evaluating sine 4 thirds pi radians by sketching the angle in standard position, determining the reference angle and the corresponding reference triangle. To sketch the angle in standard position, 4 thirds pi radians is equal to 240 degrees, or rotating by 1 third pi radians in a counterclockwise direction. We have 1 third pi radians, 2 thirds pi radians, 3 thirds pi radians, or pi radians, and then finally 4 thirds pi radians terminates here with a counterclockwise rotation. Because we rotated 1 third pi radians past pi radians, we know the reference angle, this angle here, is 1 third pi radians, or 60 degrees. And now let's sketch the reference triangle, which is a 30, 60, 90 reference triangle, this triangle here. In this quadrant, both x and y are negative, and therefore the short leg is negative 1, the hypotenuse is 2, and the longer leg is negative square root 3. Using the reference triangle, sine 4 thirds pi radians is equal to the ratio of the opposite side to the hypotenuse, which is negative square root of 3 divided by 2. This simplifies to inverse cosine of negative square root of 3 divided by 2. Inverse cosine of negative square root of 3 divided by 2 is equal to the angle in the closed interval from 0 to pi radians, or in the first or second quadrant, where the cosine function value is negative square root of 3 divided by 2. And since cosine is positive in the first and negative in the second, we know the angle must be in the second quadrant. Looking at the 30, 60, 90 reference triangle, notice how the cosine of 30 degrees, or pi over 6 radians, is equal to square root of 3 divided by 2, which means to find the angle that has a cosine function value of negative square root of 3 divided by 2, we need to sketch a 30 degree reference angle in the second quadrant. So let's go ahead and do that. We know the initial side would be along the positive x-axis, the terminal side would be here, so that we have a reference angle of 30 degrees, or pi over 6 radians, which is this angle here, or 1 sixth pi radians. Let's go ahead and sketch the reference triangle just to verify we do have a cosine function value of negative square root of 3 divided by 2. We are in the second quadrant, so y is positive, so we have positive 1, x is negative, so we have negative square root of 3, and the hypotenuse is 2. Notice how this reference triangle does give a cosine function value of negative square root of 3 divided by 2, and therefore the angle we are looking for in the closed interval from 0 to pi radians is this angle, which is 150 degrees, or 5 sixth pi radians. Next we have inverse sine of tangent 7 fourths pi radians. We begin by sketching 7 fourths pi radians in standard position, which is 315 degrees, which would also be 1 fourth pi radians less than 2 pi radians, and therefore the terminal side is here with a counterclockwise rotation of 7 fourths pi radians. Now let's sketch the reference triangle. The reference triangle is a 45, 45, 90 reference triangle because the reference angle, this angle here, is 1 fourth pi radians or 45 degrees. We are in the fourth quadrant where x is positive and y is negative. And therefore this leg is negative 1, this leg is positive 1. Hypotenuse is square root 2. The tangent of 7 fourths pi radians is equal to the ratio of the opposite side to the adjacent side, which is negative 1 divided by 1, which is negative 1. This simplifies to inverse sine of negative 1. To evaluate inverse sine of negative 1, we will not be able to use a reference triangle. We will have to use a unit circle. Remember, on the unit circle, x equals cosine theta and y equals sine theta. Therefore, we define the point on the unit circle where the y coordinate is negative 1 and the angle will be in the closed interval from negative pi over 2 to positive pi over 2. Well, the y coordinate is negative 1 here in the unit circle where the ordered pair is 0 comma negative 1 and therefore this must be the terminal side of the angle that has a sine function value of negative 1. And we know the initial side is along the positive x-axis but for the angle to be in the closed interval from negative pi over 2 to positive pi over 2, we need to rotate clockwise 
and therefore the angle is negative 90 degrees, or in radians, negative pi over 2, or negative 1 half pi radians. Next we have inverse sine of cosine of negative 5, 6 pi radians. We begin by sketching the angle in standard position, which is negative 150 degrees. So we have the initial side here, rotating clockwise, the terminal side would be here. Where the reference angle, this angle here, is 30 degrees or 1 sixth pi radians. Now let's sketch the reference triangle. In the third quadrant, both legs are negative, so we have negative 1, negative square root of 3, and then 2. Cosine negative 5, 6 pi radians is equal to the ratio of the adjacent side to the hypotenuse, which is negative square root of 3 divided by 2. This simplifies to inverse sine of negative square root of 3 divided by 2. Inverse sine of negative square root of 3 divided by 2 returns the angle in the closed interval from negative pi over 2 to positive pi over 2 such that the sine function value is negative square root of 3 divided by 2, which means the angle must be in the first or fourth quadrant, and since sine is positive in the first and negative in the fourth, we know the angle must be in the fourth quadrant. And now looking at the 30, 60, 90 reference triangle, since the sine of 60 degrees, or the sine of pi over 3, is equal to square root of 3 divided by 2, we will sketch a 60 degree reference angle in the fourth quadrant. We have the initial side, and the terminal side would be here to have a reference angle of 60 degrees, or in radians, one-third pi radians. Let's sketch the reference triangle. We are in the fourth quadrant, so the short leg here is 1, this leg is negative square root 3, hypotenuse is 2. Notice how this reference triangle does give a sine function value of negative square root 3 divided by 2, and therefore the angle in the closed interval from negative pi over 2 to positive pi over 2 is this angle here rotating clockwise, which is negative 60 degrees, or in radians, negative 1 third pi radians. I'm giving the final answers here in radians because notice how the original angles were in radians. And for the last example, we have inverse tangent of cosine negative 3 pi radians. We will have to use a unit circle again to evaluate cosine negative 3 pi radians. If we sketch the angle in standard position, we rotate clockwise 3 pi radians, so we have negative 1 pi, negative 2 pi, negative 3 pi radians terminates here. On the unit circle, this point has the ordered pair negative 1 comma 0 where x equals cosine theta and y equals sine theta. And then for cosine negative 3 pi is equal to negative 1. This simplifies to inverse tangent of negative 1. Inverse tangent of negative 1 is equal to the angle on the open interval from negative pi over 2 to positive pi over 2 that has a tangent function value of negative 1. So the angle must be in the first or fourth quadrant and because tangent is positive in the first and negative in the fourth, we know the angle must be in the fourth quadrant. And looking at the 45, 45, 90 reference triangle, notice how the tangent of 45 degrees or the tangent of pi over four is equal to one divided by one or one. And therefore, if we sketch a reference angle of 45 degrees in the fourth quadrant, we will have a tangent function value of negative one. So let's go ahead and do that. We have the initial side, we have the terminal side, where the reference angle, this angle here again is 45 degrees or 1 fourth pi radians. Let's sketch the reference triangle and see if this does give us a tangent function value of negative 1. We have negative 1, 1, and square root 2. Tangent function value is equal to the ratio of the opposite side to the adjacent side, which does give us a tangent function value of negative 1, and therefore the angle in the open interval that has a tangent function value of negative 1 is this angle, which is negative 45 degrees, or in radians, negative 1 fourth pi radians. 
I hope you found this helpful.